Hello, this is MicroJ11, and today I'm just going to um, do a little experiment. I'm going to see which um, piece of tubing heats up faster. So this is just um, this tubing that I used in the other video that heated up really fast, probably because it was both thin and it was close to the um, induction heating coils. Um, so I wanted to see if a slot cut in it would affect the heat up time. So they're essentially the same piece of tubing. Um, except this one has a slot in it, so this one's going to be a little bit lighter, but um, I'm wondering if the current flows through it or not, or like in a, around in a circle, like flows around the tubing kind of. Um, so I want to see if that slot will affect how fast it heats up. So um, let's do some tests and um, we'll see if um, it makes any difference. Alright, so I've got the normal piece of tubing in the um, induction heater. I've got a stopwatch over here and I have it set so it's going to draw about 7 amps. I didn't look at what the um, voltage was. but um, So let's turn on the switch. I'm going to turn it on with my toe over here and then I will start the stopwatch and we will see how long it takes to get glowing red hot. Alright, so it's 27 volts, 7.6 amps. And let's see, it's glowing. So that's like 11 seconds. We'll see how hot it gets though. So yeah, 10, 11 seconds. That's pretty hot right there. So that's probably about as hot as it's going to get. Still 7 amps, 28 volts. Turn it off before the coil starts cooking. So about 10 seconds before it starts glowing. 11, 10 seconds, something like that. So not very long. So um... Now let's pop this one in. Alright, so now the one with the slit, you can see the slit there. And I did cool the coil off before I um, put this one in, so it's all um, back to the same as it was before. So let me put the camera here, get ready to turn it on and start the stopwatch. Alright, here we go. Only 3.9 amps, and I haven't changed the Variac. 31 volts though. So it's obviously not drawing as much current, but it is a higher voltage. So we'll see how long it takes. Oh, we're already at past 10 seconds. 16, 17, 20 seconds. No glowing yet, as far as I can tell. So it's certainly, um, my theory is correct, it's flowing, the current is flowing around in a circle in the, um, in the tube. So with the gap there, um, it can't flow around. I think my coil might be getting very... Yeah, my coil's getting kind of toasty. And it is not heating up at all much. There's a... Pa I put paper towel there so it doesn't conduct through the clip. Yeah, it's too hot. Alright, so it is... The conclusion is that even after a minute it's not glowing. Yeah, it's not even discolored. So that means that with this tube, the current is actually flowing around in a circle, so just like the coil of wire. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, that's quite interesting actually. So theoretically, with the washer on this coil, in that case, if I cut the washer right here, you would have the same effect. It wouldn't heat up much, I believe. Interesting. So yeah, that is actually true. So the, let's see how hot it is. Oh, this, this heated up more than this did. <laughs> Interesting. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't work if you have a slit in the tube. That's about it. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks for